The new EBSCOhost user interface features many improvements, including personalized dashboards, modern result lists, enhanced displays, greater citing and sharing options, and enhanced detailed record and viewer experiences. Begin by entering your search terms in the search box. As you type, the autocomplete feature appears with popular search terms that you can click to execute a search in EBSCOhost. Or, you can apply any of the limiters below the search box and click the magnifying glass to run your search. If you would prefer to use the advanced search with guided style search boxes, click the advanced search link. The guided style search boxes allow you to guide your search using different terms in varying article citation fields, such as subject terms, author, and title. If you need more than three search boxes for your terms, you can click the Add Fields button to add more. Apply limiters from the Search Options area and click Search. You can refine your search results by applying filters. Click the All Filters button below the search box to display them. Click the arrows to open facets and display the available filters. When you're finished making selections, click the Apply Filters button to update your results. The number of applied filters is updated on the All Filters button. On your result list, select an article to read by clicking the Access Options button and selecting a full text option from the menu. If only one full text option is available, the Access Now button will display that. To view more information about an article, click the View Details link. The detailed record includes an article's citation information and links to full text when available. Use the tools at the top of the record to add the article to your saved items. Copy a citation of the article in one of several formats. Add the article to a project in your dashboard. Share a link to the article via email or download the full text or a file containing the article citation information in one of several formats. From the online full text viewer, you can click the download link to save the article to your computer or device. The online full text viewer includes tools to translate the article, open or close the table of contents, listen to the article via text to speech, as well as save, share, cite, or print the article. You can also add the article to a project in the dashboard. To cite an article, click the Cite Tool icon. Select a citation style from the Style drop-down menu and click the Copy to Clipboard link. The formatted citation is copied to your clipboard and is ready to be pasted into your document. You can also choose to export the information to your citation tool of choice. After clicking the Cite Tool icon, click Export Citation in the Cite box. Click a link and your citation is sent to your chosen tool. The dashboard in EBSCOhost is where you will find your saved items and projects you have created. When signed into EBSCOhost with your personal user account, items in your dashboard are saved and can be accessed whenever you're signed in. If you are signed in through your institution and not with a personal user account, items in your dashboard are not saved beyond your current session. You can create your own account by clicking the Create Account button. Projects enable you to collect and organize items you find, such as articles and ebooks. For example, if you are working on multiple research projects, you could create a project for each one to store articles on your different topics. In addition, you could assign each project a due date to help prioritize your work. Click New Project to get started. Enter a name for your project, choose an optional due date, and click Create. Collect and store items in projects by clicking the menu icon and selecting Add to Project. Then select an existing project from the drop-down menu or click New Project to start a new one. Click Add Now and the item is saved. To learn more about the new EBSCO host, visit EBSCO Connect at connect.ebsco.com.